all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about enable inline toolbar so in the previous session we have talked about how we can create a custom block tool so we created for image click on it to this plus icon and we can see the text and another one is image is coming thing we did so today we're gonna be talking about how we can add extra um, block tools if you click on this image and you can see over here this icon is coming so we can add extra tools into this uh, toolbar and also if we have written any kind of captions over here if you click, double click on that inline toolbar gonna be showing over here like if you click on these texts so you can see this inline toolbar is coming so that toolbar also gonna be added over here we're gonna follow the step-by-step -step documentation and we're gonna be implementing that thing so it says in this chapter we will learn how to enable the tool enabling inline formatting toolbar of caption field of r2 to make content additive instead of inputs first we need to do we it says we need to input replace that input field with the div content editable like uh, you can see over here currently uh, we can we are writing the caption inside the input field so apart from this input field we have to make it content editable div so that we're gonna do it so already we have written this code just what i'm going to do i'm just going to replace this function with this new code into my code so you can also copy this code from the github account and i have already pushed the code over there so you don't need to worry about that so you can see we, this is the custom blog that we made last time so just we need to replace this function create image okay and you can see we got some changes because it has been defined the content id table true over here to that this this tip earlier it was input field now it's content editable okay and another thing what we have to do we just need to uh, implement this uh, thing as well because it will whenever you will save the data so it will just get the data from that uh, content editable field and it will just throw it inside your element array whenever you will save an element so just go over there and just replace it with this function okay so you can see it's getting the data caption caption data is coming from content editable field okay now what we're gonna do we just need to add if you want to add any style you can do that otherwise you just need to include this thing now currently we are just defining the either tool we are just defining simple image you know let me show you in configuration you can see tools image and simple image. but the behavior gonna be changed and now we have to define some more key property for this so for doing that we need to define it like this so we are gonna make the inline toolbar true for that tool this block sorry for this block we have to make this inline bar true so that's why this is the way we have to define so the browser and reload the page and let's type something over here so you can see whenever i click on this step so right now currently there is no text over here like no caption and if i type something over here okay and if i click on this double click on this so you can see i can change the text behavior over here uh, so you can make a link like this uh, enter and you can see it's looking like a link right now if i click on so right now currently it won't work but when you save this and page uh, render this data somewhere else so it's gonna pass it when you behave as a link to that page okay so that's the kind of thing you can do and next thing we're gonna add some custom blocks into this so currently if we click on this image so three items are coming over here like you can go on the uh, parent element uh, child move down move up or you can delete this element that thing you need to do so for doing that adding more custom elements so you can see over here it has been defined how to create cut block setting panel to manipulate our image view options okay so that we can do so just click on this and just go on that page for now we have main functionality done time to add some advanced feature so in this guide we will add three settings simple tool add border to the image stretch image to full width of the container add background to the image so these are the some behavior that it gonna add via doing this okay so using a render setting method so it says all you need to do doing a block setting render setting matching it will call when user click on the block action menu when user will block, click on the block action menu it will show you the render setting and it will show you that link so it's also gonna change that thing so we don't have to do we just need to add this thing so what we're gonna do we are just gonna use this one this array from here because it's gonna be coming to the constructor and we will always use this constructor as a global inside that class constructor okay now let's move further 
and let's see the render setting so we need to change it to the render setting right now so we just need to create another function over here let's go and move further so this is the function that defines this default function you always have to name this function if you creating any custom block if you put the another name over here so it won't gonna work so you just need to define this function render setting and it will automatically take this function and so this editor gonna know about that like you have included some extra settings so that thing so we add handlers so just there's a handlers like whatever whatever the input elements you are adding over here actions you are adding over here for those you need to add handlers so you can just use it like this for some extended functionality is added over here so you can see toggle tune okay so it will bind the method like this toggle tune method will get bind with the these functions okay so you can see three icons are coming because we have already mapped it and now if you click on any button so it will show you some things into the console click on it so you can see image tune clicked with border and this one clicked stretched and clicked with background okay so image tune clicked with butter so whatever the icon you are clicking it, it's already showing like which icon you have clicked okay changing the state so it will change the state so what we need to do apart from this we need to add this line this dot data so like this let's add it so what it's saying for the url it will include the url caption it will include the caption and also another just rest of the data it will include with border data with border with background stretch so these data also it's gonna be included so state management gonna be happening over here whenever you will change something into that uh, image or something so it will be saved into this state like we do into the react here so the state management something like that we just need to find the constructor okay so apart from this data so you need to type it like this and uh, remove this plus from everywhere control d d d d d d okay now let's see then there would be some more changes gonna be because i think we have changed the data object so we just need to do like this so you can see uh, the multiple places multiple places we have to do this change uh, we have change over here so into the save block setting we have to change it just go over here control v and if you don't know about object or assign so whatever the object you have already so if you are assigning new data into that so you can assign it like this object dot assign all right so just uh, copy and paste this block because this is the L element that we need to block copy it for checking so let's copy it inside this so i have already copied over here and now let's check this out how it is working okay so if we click on it okay so what it gonna do it won't gonna affect anything into this image it will just re, uh, replace the state whatever the state we have defined into the constructor that gonna be replaced and let's check this out so if you click on it you click, you click and let's save it so you can see some state has been changed into that image type edit image type okay so data so you can see caption undefined with border true with background to a stretch gonna be false okay so we change some state and it's gonna be uh, true but uh, if we check the default state over here into the simple register so default state you can see default state is false but uh, after we clicked on it so it went true okay change a view so now we can uh, change the view of that so let's check this out how it is working so let's copy it create image and paste it so this function is getting called this dot accept tune view so it will automatically adjust your image and just copy these functions as well because these three are separate functions over here okay um so add few styles so just copy these styles we see with 100% and if I stretch this image so you can see image is getting stretched and if I remove this stretch so you can see image is coming like this it's coming inside the container and if I stretch this image so it's getting stretched full on the page all right guys but that's it from this video and in the next video we'll see some more tips and tricks of this editor.js until then tata bye bye take care